Hey beautiful people, I'm Lucy and in this video we're going to be demystifying the tone curve in Lightroom. I know a ton of beginners and even people who've been using Lightroom for a long time just kind of completely ignore the tone curve. It's like, that looks weird, I'll deal with that later. But honestly, when I started using it and I understood it, my photos got so, so much better. So today I'm going to help you with that. Let's go. All right, so we're here in Lightroom in the develop module and you can find the tone curve just under the basic panel right here. And I know it looks scary. It kind of looks like a high school math problem, um, which is probably why I avoided it for so long, but we're going to make it really, really simple. So essentially right here, I have this black and white gradient image, and this is really going to show you how what you do on the tone curve affects your image. So essentially this gradient line here is the tonal range of your image. Down here in the bottom left is the darkest shadows and here in the top right is the brightest highlights. So you can see if I grab this and brought it all the way down, my image is now black. If I grabbed this, brought it all the way up, all of those black points become white. So when we make a point on this diagonal line and we bring it above, we are brightening that part of the image. And when we bring it below, we are darkening that point of the image. So like I said, here we have the shadows, the mid-tones, and the highlights. So as you can see, you can manipulate the tone curve just by clicking on the line anywhere to create an anchor point, And that point will be for that specific tone. And then you can either add brightness or subtract it and make that tone darker. Let's see what this would look like with an actual image. Now what a lot of people use the tone curve for is just to enhance the contrast of their image. And you may have heard the term an S curve. That's what they're doing here. So what we do to do that is we go along and we add three points, some in those dark areas, light areas, and the mid-tones. And to do the standard S curve, you bring up the highlights a bit, you bring down the shadows. And now look at that, we've already created so much contrast and literally nothing about this image has been changed but the tone curve. Before, after, before, after. So you can see very minimal changes have a big impact. So that right there is the standard S curve and what that does is just creates a bit more contrast in your image. Now conversely, you might want less contrast or maybe you really like the look of this but now those dark tones seem too dark. What a lot of people do is they would bring down the blackest points of the image, bring it up, and that's how you get that classic faded film look. All right, so that is the basics of the tone curve and how it works. The best thing to do is just go ahead and start experimenting with that. You'll notice too that big changes can really affect your photo, make it really weird, make it really wonky, um, but definitely go in and experiment until you find a style that you really, really like. One quick thing that I'll mention but I'm not going to dive into in this video is that you can actually go into all of the color channels here on the tone curve and create separate tone curves for all of those colors. So actually, if you have any presets that are really changing the colors of your photos and you really don't understand why, go check this out because I guarantee that's where it's happening. So if you wanted to maybe add a bit more reds in the shadows, you could do that here. So you just go ahead, make those anchor points, bring that up, and now those shadows have reds in it. And definitely keep in mind that very little changes have a huge impact. And if you wanted to do the opposite of red, which is cyan, you would again subtract red and now there's cyan in the shadows. So go ahead and start experimenting with the tone curve. That is really the best way to learn how to use it. All right, so I hope you're feeling confident and ready to go edit in the tone curve. You will not regret it. By the way, this is the second episode in the new series I've started here called Edit With Me Monday, where we just try to make Monday suck a little bit less by having fun with editing. So if you like editing, if you like the series, then definitely subscribe to the channel or hit the little notification bell thing to be notified every single Monday about the newest video. Okay, until next time, peace out. Thank you.